All right, guys, we've got a 2020 Husqvarna E5 shock here. We're going to do the lowering kit. So these are the two spacers, retainers you get with the lowering kit. And we're going to start by removing this protective cap, taking the screw out, letting the nitrogen out of the shock. This is a four millimeter Allen and you want to let it out slowly so give it a couple twists and you'll start to hear the nitrogen dissipate and then let it go and let it just slowly otherwise it's pressurized it'll shoot out Let's see if that's a better view okay so I leaked out, we can go ahead and take, should be a bolt and an O-ring. We can actually go ahead and take the spring off the shock. We're going to do this by giving a couple of whacks on this top nut, counterclockwise. Make sure... Nothing is hitting in your vise. Loosen that up. All right, now that we have the spring nuts screwed all the way down to the bottom or the top, we've got space up here so we can pull our spring off. Set those to the side. Now we can go ahead and remove this uh, red cover. All right, guys, so you can take something like a punch or a big screwdriver, put it on the metal part of the seal head body and push down. You might have to tap it a couple times with a hammer, but it will move down. Once you get your seal head pushed down, then you're ready to install your lowering spacer. So the groove is going to go up so that it sits under the circlip and you're just going to slide it down, pushing down the seal head as far as it needs to go so that you can get your circlip back in its original groove. Then we're just going to take our rubber mallet and gently tap our body cap back into place. And that's it. It's installed.
So now we can move to putting our spring back on. These shocks are actually harder to work on than the big shocks because they're just not made to sit in these vices. These nuts are going to have to be all the way down. And we have a new spring retainer now. You can see that's our old one. And now we can start adding preload to the spring. All right, guys, there's your EE50 shock. Now all we have to do is fill it with nitrogen via the KTM repair manual, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.